U.S. Democrats have launched a formal impeachment inquiry into President Trump following allegations he pressured his Ukrainian counterpart to damage his political rival Joe Biden. The move makes Trump the fourth American president to face impeachment proceedings. Trish Young has the details. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi announced impeachment inquiry Tuesday local time, claiming Trump had violated the Constitution. The actions of the Trump presidency revealed dishonorable fact of the president's betrayal of his oath of office, betrayal of our national security, and betrayal of the integrity of our elections. An anonymous whistleblower claims Trump pressured Ukraine's new leader to investigate former Vice President Joe Biden and his son Hunter at a time when Ukraine was desperate for U.S. military aid. Trump, meanwhile, on Twitter called the impeachment announcement a total witch hunt, insisting Democrats haven't even seen the transcript of the phone call the inquiry is based on. On Wednesday, he is set to release what he says is the complete, fully declassified and unredacted transcript with Ukraine's president. Meanwhile, in a debate Tuesday, two of the three Republicans challenging Trump for the presidential nomination supported the impeachment inquiry. Candidate Joe Walsh went on to say Trump is unfit and deserves to be impeached soon. But experts say impeachment is still unlikely since Republicans who control the Senate are still on Trump's side and any impeachment resolution would have to be approved by them. It might have a lot of symbolic meanings, uh, but it probably won't have anything concrete uh, to do with the economy or the stock markets. Only three American leaders before Trump have faced impeachment proceedings, but Congress has never convicted and removed one from the White House. Choi Xiong, Arirang News.